Hey everybody, it's Lon Seibin, and we're taking a look today at the game drive from Seagate. This is a 512 gigabyte external solid state drive that is labeled to work with your Xbox One. It costs about $200, so uh, close in price to the overall console cost, but it will give you significant performance gains and some additional storage without any additional power required because all you gotta do is connect up its USB cable. Now, I know a lot of you are going to be saying right off the bat, you don't need an Xbox labeled hard drive to work with your Xbox, and in fact, you are correct. You can use any uh, external hard drive or just about uh, with your Xbox console. But the reason why companies like Seagate and others put the Xbox licensing on these things is because many consumers are asked by a loved one to go get them some external storage for their uh, game console. And if they're not all that tech savvy, they look for something that they know is going to work, which is why folks uh, slap these labels on there. But uh, in reality, this SSD is uh, pretty much the same as just about any external drive you might purchase. And in fact, it will work with a computer as well. And actually at $200 for a 512 gigabyte external ready solid state drive, it's not all that crazy in price. So we're going to look at this on a computer as well in a little bit. Now I do want to mention in the interest of full disclosure, this came in free of charge from Seagate. However, all the opinions you're about to hear are my own. Nobody is paying for this review and no one is reviewing this content before it is posted. All right, so let's get into the hardware first. Not much to it actually. It is just a plastic case, very similar to other uh, low cost Seagate drives I have tested in the past. But unlike those low cost drives, this one is solid state, so that will give you a little more ruggedness perhaps than you might otherwise have with lower cost drives because there are no moving parts inside. It connects up to your Xbox via a micro USB connector. They give you the cable in the box, of course. No other power is required, so you can pop it into the side or the back of your Xbox and uh, the, the device will recognize it. It'll format and then you can start loading your games up on it. And one of the advantages of using a solid state drive like this is that you'll see a pretty significant performance gain in uh, load times of your games. So I loaded up Grand Theft Auto 5, which is a pretty uh, big game to load up on the Xbox One and uh, off the SSD, it loaded up in 59 seconds versus almost double that time uh, off of the internal hard drive that uh, was built into my Xbox One. Now, of course, uh, the Xbox One is a you know sub $300 game console, so they put the least expensive components in there. So when you do bring in a uh, more premium solid state drive, you will see a significant performance gain, not only in loading up your game itself, but also in between levels as well. So your Xbox might feel a little zippier uh, after you start using this just because the solid state drive is that much faster than what you have built in. But there is a lot more to the story than just the Xbox because if you uh, unplug it from your Xbox, plug it into a Mac or PC and format it, you can use it on those as well. And I've been very impressed with the performance out of this drive. So I'm um, seeing write speeds uh, really consistently here at around 380 megabytes per second on my uh, Blackmagic disk speed test. Uh, the reads are also very consistent at 420 megabytes per second. This test has been running for the last 20 or 30 minutes here and it hasn't dropped off at all. So really good, uh, consistent performance, especially for uh, the kind of stuff that I do on the road. And that's one of the reasons why I like solid state disks is because I can get a, a really good amount of performance out of them and then uh, still be able to have the peace of mind of knowing that I could be editing on a train or a bus or something and uh, not worry about data loss due to uh, things getting knocked around. So really nice uh, performance that I'm seeing out of this. I also ran the crystal disk mark test in Windows to get a feel for its random read and random write performance. And we got some decent scores there. 18.8 megabytes per second on random reads and 36.62 megabytes per second on random writes. Uh, that actually lines up very favorably with the Samsung T3 that I reviewed uh, not too long ago, which is a, another portable SSD that costs about the same as the Seagate drive here. Really lines up performance-wise uh, very closely with this one. So a really decent performing uh, portable solid state drive and it costs about the same uh, for the same capacity. And what I like about these portable SSDs is they have their USB interface is built in, so you don't need a separate enclosure uh, to get it all working. So all in, a really good performing drive, uh, both on a computer as well as on the Xbox. And I think if you are plugging this into an Xbox, you will feel like you maybe have improved the speed of the console a bit because the load times will be dramatically improved uh, given how fast this thing can push data in and out of itself. And as you saw in that Grand Theft Auto uh, load screen there, we're actually able to boot the game up almost twice as fast. It won't make the game run any faster once it's operating, uh, but you can get to the game a lot quicker and get in between levels a lot faster than you could before. So really good on the Xbox and actually pretty good on the PC and Mac as well. So that will do it for The Game Drive by Seagate and this is Lon Sybin. Thanks for watching. This channel is brought to you by my Patreon supporters.
If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash Patreon to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.